What's up, guys? This is the Bright Woman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Venice. And in this episode, um, we're about to hit the end turn uh, button because right now we've done everything we can and we have spent a lot of money. Let's just make sure that these chaps are replenishing appropriately. Yep, you're both good. Um, actually, let's try and assassinate this here general. Just to see if we can bad luck. Um, but our priest is pushing on towards St. Petersburg, ready to deal with Sweden there. Our force is pushing up here to the east to take Archangels, then flank around Petrovskaya. Then we need to deal with Moscow and move up rapidly to the Swedish border. Ready to, ready to move on them, and also to be ready to move against Poland. But let's hit end turn, because right now things are going awfully well. Yeah, recruitment is ongoing around the rest of the world. I think we do want to start fortifying that frontier against Persia. Spain's trying on their old tricks again. So they have pushed against Tunis. You know, we might actually have a really good opportunity to defend this because they have no artillery and a lot of cavalry. So let's do this. We have a reasonable stock of infantry plus some mortars. So as long as we defeat their infantry, then it will be victory to us. But, we, but this does mean that we need to reinforce North Africa and potentially continue our attack or start to um, push towards dealing with the Spanish. And we have troops in Sardinia that can be involved. Uh, they can redeploy, no, Corsica, sorry. They can redeploy and start to push along the North African coast. So let's drop the mortars behind. Get them firing quick line. Place line infantry on top of the, on top of the, uh, where, where the main, main artillery pieces are based on the walls. Man the cannons. Native African infantry around the flanks just to make sure they don't push. You have one unit of Swiss Guards, the rest of you are cavalry. So they have one, two, three, four, five units of infantry. One of them is pikemen somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, but pikemen can't scale the walls, so they're in trouble immediately. Most part, well, this is going to be pretty good. We want my mortars to fire quick lime just so, on the off chance that we actually hit something, they do maximum damage. Sadly, they have to do a little bit of reloading. There we go, quick lime away. Just open fire on whatever target you feel is right. If you can hit the grenadiers, good hits. That's what we're after. So you... Can this unit man these cannons? Because they are aiming for this section of wall. Let's get the 14th Regiment foot to engage. Then when they get close enough, everybody's opening fire now. They've done a lot of damage, so... The artillery is going to do a lot of good damage. Mortars should fire again soon. They're quite rapid at firing. Swiss guards are being engaged by this regiment of foot. There we go. Spread out, man the walls, gun them down. them as well. Yeah, this unit's a little bit in trouble. Shells away. Bit of friendly fire, but we can accept that because it does more damage, we do more damage to the enemy. They're both shattered actually, which is really nice. When you man the 
fire step properly. And you haven't scaled the wall yet. The Swiss guards are falling back. Too bad that you fellows haven't manned the wall properly. Still, the howitzers no mortar, sorry, are ready to engage new targets. The ideas are pushing around, as are the Swiss guards, so they're going to be engaged. Hopefully, there we go. The grenadiers are a threat, but it's only one set of grenadiers. See if we can break Mega Grandier's route. No, they stuck around. You guys are firing short into these units. Excellent. Very, very good hit there. More hits. Let's bring the native African infantry into the fight as well support the melee combat don't even engage the swiss guards so the grenadiers might gain a foothold but they don't have the numbers the new men charge into the rear of the fifth grenadier regiment It's a ceasefire. New men push up, ready to engage. Swiss guards are down to 50 men, but they're falling fast. Swiss grenadiers are also falling fast. Down to 57 men. Oh no, they're sticking around. They're holding out, but the rest of their force is useless to try and help because they have no control over any ways into my city. I was going to say, the, grand, the guards, they've held out really well. Getting down to that small number of troops. Just see if we can get them to remount the fire step. It's not a big deal if we don't. So we've split the enemy grenadiers into two pockets. So they've been dealt with. Excellent. Who's left? This unit of Spanish Grenadero de Marina. There we go. You men engage them as well. Yep, ceasefire. Good. Now they just need to chew up these grenadiers as they scale the wall. And then they will be done for. Yeah, the guard when they're gone. Grenadiers. They have a little ways to go. For all of you. I mean, the dragoons could help, maybe, but one unit of dragoons is not going to do much. Okay, that is this unit's forces. We've, got, we've still got them penned in against the corner of the, the wall. Imagine being one of, the, one of the last guys up. Like, I hope things are going well up here. And suddenly they are. Jesus! Sixth Grenadier Regiment. Capture that standard. So they'll definitely be exactly toll for this, but we still have a few units of garrison troops in here. So is it just you guys? Just my mortars of the garrison unit by the looks of it. Yeah, so this 
This garrison needs reinforcement. Okay, let's speed this along a minute, because right now they're just slowly being chipped away at one, one last guy gets to the top. What's going on, guys? There they go. And they're going to run through one of our units and we're going to kill a few more of them. Nice. Actually killed them all. Okay. I think when they're fully routed, they will... The enemy will break? Apparently not. Um, in which case then, we are going... I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when something happens. Because we are definitely not going to push out of here. So, switch my mortars to round shot. They are just out of range, so let's... Okay, you are actually fixed. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when the battle is over. See you, everyone. And there we go. The Spanish attack has been defeated because it was a very foolish, foolish attack. That he didn't really have good chances of, of um, succeeding. And as you can see, they have been dealt a severe blow and a lot of their force has been killed. So that's not good. Um, yeah, we may have to emergency redeploy the unit from, well, the unit from Corsica. To the North African coast in order to make sure we don't lose the territory and we do want to start probably hoovering up some of these Spanish ships. And it sounds like I mean, Spain does have lots of troops in North Africa. Oh don't send your Protestant filth towards us. Okay, Sweden, what are you doing? Nothing that we need to worry about right now. Savoy's marching on to... That's our territory. Hope they don't get up to any good. Any mischief, rather? Dagestan, what are you doing? I mean, I should really knock them out. It would depend on what their alliance structures look like. If they've got... Well, they t traditionally they have loads of protectorates. Okay, so we have a new rake. Bring this rake. Actually, let's bring the rake over here. Let's try and kill that priest. So we've researched steampunk land drainage and we've gone to threshing machine. That's very good. Oh, you just sent a sloop to attack us. Very droll. You know what? Let's capture the ship. Sound. See, I don't, I don't know why it did that. Okay, so Philip, let's push you up. We're here in Corsica. We can leave the territory. So this sloop. Collect the troops in Bastia. Okay, let's pick them up and then deploy them off the coast of Tunis just to intercept the enemy. And let's send our ships a raiding. Let's take this sloop and deposit them into Mallorca. Excellent. So we've got Cartagena secured. They've got a small fleet in Cadiz. So let's go raid Sandy Bay. No, they're not going to stop us. Awesome. So we've secured, we've freed up the port. Okay, let's do some building. So Ukraine's finally got fortifications. It's a decent enough force for now. We can probably leave it. We may upgrade the, upgrade the uh, artillery building a bit. Probably don't need to upgrade. Probably don't need to upgrade this church school. Okay, 
we reinforce here. Rupe, avanti. Okay. Actually, let's recruit a new general. Nero Matarazzi, you will push up towards the Black Sea coast and begin recruiting elements to attack Sweden. You get a rocket artillery piece, and that's lovely. Get some beefy howitzers. Let's get a couple, a selection of units, including a Swiss plate unit for Darnshaw. Let's get a guerrilla mercenary unit. Just start recruiting. We don't have to rush recruit right now. Okay, you're replenishing. Send our agent up to Poland. Yeah, there's Sweden. They're building large fortifications. They've got a couple of elite units. Nothing to immediately worry about. We are likely at, well, we are at a point. Well, first of all, let's go deal with Archangels. Okay, that's a water resolve for darn sure. Can you leave Archangels? You can. March you onto Petrovskaya immediately. You could get up to no good, potentially. Probably going to be okay. Comey is slowly coming into the fold. Okay, so now we've secured Genoa. Let's upgrade another batch of our industri industrial buildings. Excellent. Upgrade the farms at Tunis. Upgrade the military production capability at Tunis. Vicario Parini, let's recruit some troops. Something like that, just to add a bit of bit of extra firepower. We've lost our trade agreement with Spain, that's to be expected, especially after they declared war on us. Hey, he got courageous. Courageous leader for that, Balazare. Nice. Awesome. So Dagestan. Boss Protectorates. Probably don't want to knock them out until we're ready to move on them all at once. Okay, let's upgrade some of Baghdad's economic infrastructure. I mean, at Baghdad, that garrison's strong enough. Let's recruit a couple of elite units to advance up towards this army. Let's bring up some light cavalry plus a heavy cavalry unit and then probably recruit some a couple of units of colonial line. That's okay. We probably want to bung the rest into economy upgrades where possible. We don't really need this artillery here. Okay. So everything's falling into place. Bavaria is still our ally. It's a bit frustrating you're not suffering from any serious financial issues because you've been pushed into one territory. I mean, really, you should start to be getting a bit bankrupt. Although, that could be. Let's try to sabotage the royal palace and prevent them from collecting any tax income. Awesome, so that worked. Try to sabotage the weaver's cottage. Excellent. So they should start to be suffering, well, in theory, suffering some economic problems with hosting an army this large in one territory. 
apart from that though, I think things are pretty good. We're definitely at a point where we're gonna be once we take not Russia out, we probably want to move on Poland. In which case this army can move on to Vilnius, this army move up to Minsk. Poland, I believe, are a protectorate of Poland. Yep, so when we when this happens, it all happens at once. Can you leave here? You can. You can sit here ready to march up towards Courland. So this offensive is ready to happen. Let's upgrade. Let's, re re let's uh, repair a few buildings. Okay, awesome. Venice is stuck the way it is for now. Um, okay. So we're providing an awful lot of protection to our western flank, which is nice. Let's hit end turn. A couple of our agents have wandered around, that's fine. It's going to be very interesting when we get to attacking the attacking in the Americas. So the weak Spanish army's fallen back. Another army has moved southwards. Spain are bringing additional troops to bear. Poland are manoeuvring troops around their empire. It's only a matter of time before they sally out of Moscow to try and stop us. You could probably do with attacking Russia before Sweden declares war on us so that their troops get teleported out of our region towards St. Petersburg. But everything seems to be taking along quite nicely. We're growing our armies. We're just getting stronger and stronger. Let's send this agent up towards Petrovskaya. Towns, Aswan in Egypt. You can have a craft workshop because you're pretty happy. New town emerges in Astrakhan, Samara. Excellent. Have a craft workshop because you're probably also reasonably happy. Yeah, you're pretty happy. Tune firing, which in Darth Mod doesn't really have a huge effect, but it gives us bonuses to uh, infantry recruitment, infantry training levels. When we, when we recruit them from scratch. Great. Let's move you over. She probably should do it this way. Just make sure we're hitting everything as much as we can. Maybe except some of these ones on the frontier, are, they are going to be intercepted and attacked. Great, 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 great. Get some infantry building upgrades. Moldavia, you've been upgraded. Give me some in Ukraine. Let's get upgrading. You recruit a handful of elite troops just so you're even an even better position to push towards Minsk when the time comes. Let's actually have a look at... Okay, they've already repaired it. Serve altro. Sabotage the building. Kangelsk is... upset with us. That's okay, especially because they managed to uh, recover quite nicely without needing to exempt them from tax. Badazari continue to replenish and push towards Petroskaya because the longer this takes, um, the more attrition that we can get against Moscow. And you need to be ready to storm up towards this bridge when the time comes. Okay, lots of recruitments happened. Raid towards Anaba. 
So one army did march south. But that's the reason why we're growing this force. Two units of cavalry. Two units of infantry. We want howitzers, but we won't get them immediately. But it's not an enormous rush to get them now. Not when... We've got troops pushing Algiers. Let's try and assassinate Lorenzo de Couture. Couture. No, that didn't work. Let's raid Cartagena. That's where the bulk, where a lot of their trade's coming in from. Algiers upset. Lots of religious unrest. Let's potentially send our agent forward to try and keep raiding. We'll try and sabotage some of their buildings to try to see if we can ferment an uprising in Morocco to keep them busy. Apart from that, we probably want to push two of these howitzers back to Venice. Maybe let's take half of our conscripts and disband them. Let's start to boost this force a bit with some cheaper artillery. And then you probably want two cavalry units. Let's get a heavy cavalry unit and a regiment of horse. Because then they'll be ready to land. I mean, yeah, Spain's, Spain's in trouble. Have they got any colonies we can take advantage of? Not explicitly. New Spain's already independent. Denmark, Louisiana. And once we get to, if we clear out the Iberian Peninsula, we're going to be right to start invading uh, the Americas. But for now, everybody keep replenishing. Let's get into a good position. And be nice and ready for the next stage of operations. Ah, what the hell. Let's upgrade this. Okay. 188. No research immediately is going to be available to us. There we go. Agents are on the move. Excellent. So this is part of the reason why I'm so set on making sure my infrastructure is as good as possible because being able just to uh, recruit the widest selection of units possible from around your empire is super handy spain's got a lot of troops okay they've gathered okay they've gathered their strength oh, they're going to try and sally from moscow that's going to cost them dearly especially when poland lithuania is powerless to help because they decide, well, they have decided not to join their Russian comrades and declare war on us because it will cause the downfall of their empire. Although I must admit, Sweden must be looking very squarely right now uh, because if we knock out Poland, Lithuania, and Courland, then Stockholm itself is starting to look very vulnerable. We could probably take out the Swedish Empire. Not instantly, but very quickly. So, let's deploy oh, a lovely bit of high ground. We definitely want to deploy back. Just because they've got mortars and it's just super wasteful to let your troops get chipped away at by enemy artillery fire. Sometimes it's kind of inevitable, like if they deploy in my face right now, there's not a huge amount well, apart from abandoning my defences, there's not a huge amount I can do about it. Something like this. Don't need to be super clever. We're on the defensive. We overpower the enemy. Let's just let themselves waste their troops' lives. Range of travel shots. This how it's units in quick line range though, which is rather tasty. 
This unit of Cossack infantry is going to bite the dust. 64 men. Round shot coming in to attack the Marines. First horse guards in the defense of Moscow. They look superb. They're not what the enemy need. Switch this out to the round shot just so they can start shooting. Bjorne Strelzi moving forward. Fire away. Good hits. But let's speed up time a minute. If the enemy is just going to redeploy like they like doing, probably just... Yeah, it looks like they're, they're going to redeploy a few times before they do anything too crazy. In which case, let's make my howitzers just fire a will. Oh, forgot about these bikes. Just bring them back. No one's in any real rush to try to stop us. Gunners, there we go, that's what we wanted. The gunners are going to abandon or have abandoned their artillery. They're so keen to try and kill us. They're going to cross the open ground and engage us in melee combat, or at least that's their plan. Swords aloft. Ten men remaining. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. I say not a not a man left to tell the tale. But yeah, the AI is wandering around and forming a giant line. They may well end up advancing, but for the time being, just just let them shoot. Guards Grenadiers. Oh, they look awesome. They look really smart. I like that a lot. That headgear is very swish. Oh, and they're waiting on the garrison militia to get into position. That's why they're suffering such horrific attrition. Maybe the artillery folks on the horse guards, because they are the, it's the most most dam the most valuable unit we can get we can do the most damage to I think cavalry in formation like that's just super super vulnerable we're forming up out of how it's arranged but once they're in position and once they start trying to swarm us so once these units have got into position there's 32 Cossack infantry and 71 marines they're not, even, they're not even in a hurry. Although those marines look pretty spiffy too. Particularly the gold. So you do see there is a difference in uniform between the gold and the white. I do like the gold more. Okay, so what are you doing? Here they come. Switch to shrapnel shot, although the shells are detonating at their max, nearly their max range, but they are having an effect. Oh, it's probably opening fire on the chasseur as well. The guard, I shall go. Reloaded. Real big miss. Got a good couple of hits. Good hits. Slowly they trundled towards our line.
focus my artillery on the big clumps of infantry. So they're going to run along our line. Not into range. Just in front of us. Although, oh my, that was a beast of a grapnel shot. Okay, let's actually retarget the howitzers. The shrapnel shot's now going to be brought to bear against these big clumps of enemies. I'm tempted to get them to both aim at this garrison militia, so if they miss and aim slightly off centre, it will cut through both of these units. Good hits. Extra nice hits. Horse and Grenadiers. I didn't even notice this cavalry charge, but that's the worst unit you could have charged, my friend. Round shot coming in. Misses. That's a hit right there. They advance toward us. We'll start to bring our right flank in and surround them. Both of you guys quick line that garrison unit to your front. Exceptional engagement opportunities right here. Good hits. We're using chemical warfare. Okay, let's get my regiment of horse out on the flank. They're engaging us just at our max range yeah my 12 pounders will deal with you guys in a pretty conclusive way I'm happy to engage we don't need to worry about producing Protecting our force too much. I think you guys actually tack ground just short of them. Here we go on conscripts. Stand up and be recognised. Oh, you don't have fire will on. That'll be why. Same with these grenadiers. See if we can get them to break. Cavalry charge in the rear seems to have done the trick. Okay, they're pushing up on the left, but they're not really in many great numbers. Attack grounding shrapnel shot here has worked really well. Could be using the rest of my cavalry, but I'm kind of just happy to let it not die exactly, but it's just I don't really need it right now. Make sure they shatter. We're not really worried about killing them all. We don't get to capture the city anyway, <clears throat> even if we do kill them all. So, advance. There we 
do, go rid of them. Push forward. Send the unit onto the walls, because why not? Fourth artillery engage. Third regiment. Oh, there they go. All my artillery. No, maybe not all of my artillery. Well, pikemen, cut your way through this provincial militia unit. favorable ratio most of the garrison is just gone this line of infantry is marching through our musket range but the terrain is not ideal Militia. You don't want to stick around, do you? Oh, you forgot about the general. Yeah, well, you hold here, then. These chaps scale the wall, secure the gates, push in, kill them. The militia are now wavering. Everybody except the cavalry. Get up here rapidly. The infantry has orders to. Oh, there we go. We've taken the the walls. Come on, provincial militia. Well, you're being fired on in the back. Pikemen, hold! Oh, is one of them stuck in the wall? Maybe. I might be why they're not doing anything. Okay, right, okay. So they are going, going to engage. Cool. 23 men remaining. I've got 80. 80 horsemen. And these men are not slouches, they are level 3 experience. They're quite decent. They do the falling thick and fast. Where is their officer? Is it you? I think it is you. Come back, you cowards. How about you? Well, I don't think it didn't really matter for the sake of the purposes of capturing this town. Although, this poor militia unit. Killed their general. They're shaken on the first volley. It's a unit of a militia. Yeah, they've broken. The artillery are about to, well, they have opened fire. Yep, that's the end of the Moscow garrison. And that's kind of exactly what we were aiming to do, really. We were sieging them with overwhelming superiority in both men and equipment to force them to run into our lines. Yeah, Sweden are going to make us work for any further 
capture of Russian territory, that's for sure. It looks like our intention to upgrade or to um, boost American prosperity to try and create a, a really interesting late game enemy might not work, but ultimately I'm tempted to kind of leave off the Americas just to see if they do it. Let's just keep pumping money into the Americas and see if they do it. See if they manage to achieve an overall victory. Russia's... yes, sloop and a light galley. You fellows crack on. There we go. Okay, so a lot of our spending in Europe is going to be about Actually, are you? Sorry, you should have been at church school. My mistake. A lot of our spending in Europe is going to be about boosting our military, uh, our um, yeah, military production. So you're on the way. Work is on striking Nigeria. Could probably do with them not routing. Are you recruiting anything, Venice? No. Excellent. Recruit. Brace of Dragoons for garrison duty. Venice, artillery, Poland, tuners. Good. Probably doing the Grand Opera House. We don't need to worry about um, technology research rates because we've got quite good tech. Who is here in Algiers? Do you have any allies or friends to support you? Ooh, new national leader. Before I deal with that engagement, right. Plus one treasury. So your four stars treasury. This guy's plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice. Okay, you're better off than my justice minister. Treasury minister's four star basics. So swap them with the army minister. This guy's just plus one management, plus one justice, minus one management, minus one management. You're just bad. Oop. Plus one treasury. Okay, so the only one I need to worry about replenishing, replacing is my head of government. <laughs> That's all I have to worry about. Sabotage. Sabotage the port. No, didn't work. Mr. Bruno, skilled siege defender, plus one command when besieged. Wait a minute. You were at Moscow. You weren't. You weren't even involved in the fight. You were a reinforcing army. You weren't even involved. Okay, soon is coming for the Russian Empire. Try and assassinate the general just to make them a bit more vulnerable. No, it didn't work. 20,000. We want to wait for the um, Great Arsenal to be finished, then we'll build some howitzers. We are going to attack Algiers. Interesting. It's bringing in an enemy reinforcing army. Probably want this army to be brought up. I could, so the thinking is I could probably beat the army in I could probably beat this army both these with this army but I'd like another army to back here to kind of once this army's had the hell pounded out of it they're here to cover because Spain I mean I suppose they don't have a huge amount of troops here at the minute Let's sabotage the happiness building because they're already very unhappy Yeah, two armies, you will call up reinforcement in the form of howitzers. You, you will make it 18 turns from... I suppose I could deploy them from Cairo. And you're ready to rock and roll, Ludovico. Ah, 
Let's bring Ludovico into the mix. And here, oh, you can't recruit howitzers either. Or here, you can. Okay, we'll recruit some at Damascus. Ludovico. March. Well, sail to Oran. Let's see if we can draw this army west. Make sure we disembark the army. See if you can draw them west. Okay, 16,800. Okay, let's recruit. Recruit line infantry plus Swiss line plus Swiss grenadiers plus grenadier guards. You're in great shape as well. well I suppose ultimately a lot of these ports could become accessible to a to our troops. Let's maybe recruit some galleys in anticipation of potentially needing multiple vectors of attack. Good, and then here as well, just recruit a handful of infantry units for yourself. Okay. Okay. Also positioning in this episode rather than rather than a lot of fighting. Lots of recruitment and reinforcement ongoing. Yeah, so in one fell swoop we could definitely take out uh, Riga. St. Petersburg. Hello, what's this? Interesting. Let's do this. Oh, you weren't joined by any of your armies. Sorry, Jeff. This is this is a, a war that's been on the boil for some time. Yep, Spain are looking to try and exploit this opportunity in the North Africa theatre. Prussia did not join the Dutch in our war, so the, the front they have to work with is very narrow. That's going to be an auto resolve. So the city is ours. They only have one territory left at Petrovskaya. Soon. The Russian Empire will be no more. That's right, you better run around and raid. Is Sweden going to declare war on us? Because we are in a bit of a world war at the moment. And that's just fine by me. I just wish the United States would do something. They appear to not want to push northward. Yes, sir boy! Yes, sir boy! They've broken out into southern France. Now they're in trouble. My mighty Catholic coalition is not going to let you get away with this. Then in comes the Italian states with the knockout. Oh, and here comes the Bavarians! They beat the Dutch! Oh, God alive. This is the most. This is the most integrated the AI has ever been, but has ever been involved in my battle plans. Well, you know what? I can't let my allies do all the heavy lifting. We need to conduct an expedition. Well, there's a lot of things we need to do right now. Let's take you guys. Okay, as one, upgrade to a weaver's cottage. All the naval buildings are upgraded. Upgrade, upgrade. Keep 
keep on growing. Good, 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 good. So, I'm going to set that up for now, just so I don't forget. But I will fight it at the end of this. I will. You know what? I should probably, before I worry about this stuff, let's get this done and let's consolidate my Russian Empire as the result of their capture before we start looking at potentially um, attacking the Dutch. So Savoy is pushing into South France. I may take this opportunity to secure Sardinia because we do we do need to take that territory. It is a Dutch territory in the middle of our land. They have a naval hospital so they may recruit ships to, sh to move that army around and attack us which would be super annoying. So we're going to do a triumphant march forward into Russian territory. Attack the city. Do not let them stand. Militia, you will hold back. You will defend the guns. Not that it's, not that it's really needed. This infantry advance to the high ground. These units push up to the house. These units also push up to the house. A slightly slower time. Our is stop drawing. Dropping quick climb onto the enemy. Here I see air. Run up one flank, and this cavalry run up the other flank. Actually, let's make you run. Oh, it says engage the enemy to our front. The 5th Regiment have been obliterated. Firelock armed citizenry are going to be out. Team and advance forward. Okay, the regiment of foot here is being engaged. Excellent. The first regiment of foot garrison infantry are being cut to ribbons. The ninth have formed square. men secure the ground advance forward cavalry run in through the gaps here to get up some mischief even advance forward to attack this block this is the bulk of the enemy strength now this area on the left is just yeah, this area on their left flank is just going to collapse. Going to reload and obliterate this regiment's foot. These two units advance up and fire into that block. Run my cavalry in, deal with their artillery. You are out of range. It's clear. It's a defense line. Attack the mortars. Broken. Attack the pikemen. Oh, the pikemen are shattered. Push forward with the bayonet for a decisive win. This infantry unit storm forward, try and attack the enemy here. Curiosier, clear out. 
Shattered, shattered, shattered. Great. Founded. Heresy air, get through the rear. It's on this frontier. Enemy general's been killed. Simonovsky foot guards. One of the few good units they've actually got. Again, looking superb. However, I don't think they have the staying power for this engagement. Stay away from those stakes. Just get through the town. You're likely not going to be in a position to engage. Okay, engaging the 8th Regiment of Foot. Artillery fire has broken them. It's broken the foot guards as well. They, they're retreating in good order, but afraid it's enough. Hello. So you got the foot guard, you may attack. Oh no, hold on, we can't just attack blindly. Give all of my infantry orders to just move through the town. Shattered, broken. Let's uh, switch to round shots. Nope, they're out of range. Shattered. Okay, mass my cavalry together. Begin to group our strength, smash into the sixth regiment. Everybody else has orders to run. The, whole, the fifth horse guards are coming in. They're out of formation, they're not ready for us. To ribbons. 54th Regiment. Charge! You push in, you push in. There we go. This infantry got overwhelmed. Now they're going to get obliterated. Excellent. Bayonet charge. So this Russian unit, because they are, I mean, they're Russians. Are, they're a good melee army, that's for sure. Not when they've got such an overwhelming amount of troops they can bring to bear. Two hundred and three. Bring my cavalry over here. Oh, it's snowing. How poetic. African native infantry is attacking the gates of Moscow. So to them, this must feel like the Alamo or Rock's Drift. They may feel it is survivable. It's just overwhelming enemy force. Yep, there it goes. Pretty sure that's everyone this time. Excellent. So there goes the perfidious Russian Empire. They've been dealt with. That's the end for that's the end of them. So you men replenish. Wait, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, good. All the Russian armies are gone. 
good. You men push up to the front here quite rapidly. Recruitment report, trade agreement cancelled, region captured, workers on strike. We don't get it. This faction has been destroyed. Unit then, I suppose. I'm going to keep the fishery because it's just not a big deal. Although, trade up here for furs and stuff might be quite useful before we get hold of some more Baltic trade ports. But this is great. Understandably, they really hate us. So let's get some of these buildings repaired and importantly get the university destroyed. Pretty sure it's just the one. Good. Let's get these industrial buildings repaired. Plus this weaver's cottage. It's everything repaired. You guys re upgrade this lumber works. One more ten tiles. I've always grown. Excellent. So you men, you push up towards um, Finland. We've got both of their both of Poland's main cities under observation. You men, you start a long walk up to Stockholm. Cool. Uh, right. So now you. A lot of conscripts. So we could join on the on a push into southern France. But I'm just interested to watch the AI do it. I'm interested to watch Savoy do it. So we've got our Dragoon units recruited in Venice to march over Genoa. They've mostly got rid of it. Got rid of them. So let's recruit. Can't recruit a Dragoon unit. I could just probably move. Maybe I might send both the conscript units over. Yeah, that deals with them. Bring this army aboard ship. Sail them over land. Let's just lay siege to Cagliari. Let's just lay siege to it. Let's let make them come and attack me. Because I do want to move you to here. And attack them. And you well, you just hold actually, because that army's coming to get you. You're going to line up and attack this army. I mean... Oh no, you don't. Move you out of the way. Let's embark the army. You are in range. Engage Hector de Castro. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for a number of rapid battles against the Spanish in North Africa with no money to replenish our troops. Cheers, everyone.